all day. They better not get tired either. Let's go. The 49ers have won the toss. They will receive Dennis Erickson. Called just the most frustrating year he's ever had as a head coach. One and eight. The 49ers will start on the 20. Tim Rattay, four interceptions last week in that loss against Carolina. He'll make his 10th career start. And up front, that offensive line, they've played good sometimes, Tim, and sometimes they haven't. Definitely a work in progress with those guys up there. Now, they've had some injuries, but these guys have been playing together for a while now. they got to get things shored up in that pass protection. Eric Johnson having an outstanding year for this. Barlow will be in the backfield. He'll get the handoff. And he gets a couple inside for about four weeks. A gain of four, the throw high. Ooh. Nearly intercepted there by Rondé Barber. The pressure, Rattay's out of the pocket. Simeon Rice misses him. He's got to get away from Spires. He takes the hit, goes out of bounds. And that will bring on the punting unit for the 49ers. That's why they've got so many young guys out there playing. And look at all the differences in guys that are in the lineup. You've got three constants. That's it from 11 guys from a year ago. I mean, it, there's no, it's no secret. Pressure, ball is loose. The Buccaneers are saying they've got it. Let's see. It is. Those turnovers, and, and look at that. Wow, we talked about that being a problem on the road. Clearly, that graphic supports that from there in the hole. Barlow. Barlow taken down quickly by Shelton Quarles. Well, we know the biggest stat in pro football is, is the turnovers, and they allow points after turnovers, which has been the big problem. Second and nine. Barlow again. Great scrape, but another great tackle on the outside there. Quarles again, again for Tampa Bay. Throw, and it's incomplete. And another punt for the 49ers. Oh, the interception by Parrish will mean a fresh start for Rattay in the offense at the 23. Rattay holds the ball. Here comes a hit. The second quarter for San Francisco. Barlow doing the same thing he's done. A pickup of one by Barlow. A nice pocket to throw the check down to Barlow. Barlow takes a wicked hit at the 27-yard line. And that'll bring on the punting unit, the 10 for the 49ers. Barlow stopping his feet, same old story, a loss. Wild card spots for the conference. Wow, you can hear that one all the way up here. Ian Gold, the free agent from Denver. Go over the middle, a flag is down, so this could wipe out their biggest yard production. The number 22, Holding, Terry Jackson. offense, Flag. number 82, penalties decline, fourth down. Very critical. Look at this. This is your chance to take one here. Yeah, can you take a shot against these corners, though? And they do the same old deal. So, uh, Jackson in the backfield, second and ten, the pressure. Bucks fake pressure. The seam throw, that one nearly intercepted. And do you think... Tay's arm is bothering him. He came into the game with that sore well, He's been dealing with that for quite a while now this season. He says it's not a factor. Peterson from 50. He's hitting one out of two this year. It's up. Doesn't have the juice. And the Buccaneers will take over at the spot of the kick. The NFC North has got it going on, too. Green Bay has fought their way back inside. Another loose ball. What do they call it? Was his arm going yeah, forward? Yeah, his arm yes. was going forward. Incomplete pass. Approaching the two-minute warning. Rattay holding the ball way too long. Intended for Eric Johnson. Guys just aren't making plays. It's simple to see. Third down. On the move again. The drop off and the drop by Barlow. They're going to get flag. They're going to get GD Ahana to right here. The roughing the passer. Roughing the, foul, roughing the passer. Defense. Number 95. Led with the helmet into the quarterback is what they're saying. And that's a helmet to helmet shot. Uh, yeah, it would be. Fresh set for Rattay. The jump pass. Another drop by Barlow. But catch the ball. you still got to catch the football. And look at this. When you can't run the ball and you have no running game, 
your defense gets tired out there on the field and it, effectively Tampa Bay by the time the game's over will have 15 or 20 more snaps six here in the first half Ball again. And 49er fans have to be saying what in the world are they doing the pressure comes retake gets rid of it nearly intercepted around to a bunch of different guys there's our guy Hicks and Hicks what do you know with the breakout right away and Hicks he's got a first down and 14 yards on his first run you know if I'm, if I'm Dennis Erickson I come out and I start Maurice Hicks in the second half of this football game and see what this kid can do and that is the end of the first half FoxSports.com there's a look right there at our first half stats 26 to 229 and two turnovers that San Francisco has not been able to take advantage of. And there's our fantasy update. Retay and Greasy. Michael Pittman just having a huge day and not getting that many carries to do it. Joe Jerevicious, outstanding so far. Good decision maker most of the time, and he's got that arm and that accuracy to deliver the football. There is a hard look at the two numbers. Proud of his guys right now. Complete to Brandon Lloyd. Long time veteran coach here with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and many different before he ever gets hit. Ozar in the left tackle. Throw incomplete. Down and 10. Harlow with the handoff. A nice lane. And he's out across the 40 yard line. Every foot. Pressure already for Retay. Steps up. He'll do it by himself. And he gets the first down. The check down. Barlow's got some room. And Barlow is close to another first down as he's on the other side of the 50-yard line. Pickup of nine. Second and one. Barlow has the first and then some. Well, it's going to be cold. It's going to be wet. And you've got to be able to run the football. Barlow with only one 100-yard rushing game. Now that one early with an injury. Johnson open. Can't hold on. Just a little bit outside. Second and ten. Cut back, nicely done by Hicks, and Hicks with another gash. And Tim, you brought it up. Deepest penetration for the 49ers today. Throw in the middle, complete to Cedric Wilson. And Wilson, he's close to another first down. Pass mix there, second and seven. We'll go to Hicks again. Nice effort, he jumps over, and that'll be a first down. Okay, he'll go down. Bradley, the rookie out of Arkansas State. The situations when those kind of mistakes can happen long down in distance. A short throw to Barlow, and he's hit immediately. Okay, see that. Third and 21. The tank pulled it back. He thought he had something. The hit. The pressure's there, and he just throws it away. And it's good. So finally, here in the third quarter. The 49ers are on the board, 28-3, Tampa Bay. Barlow with the cutback. We talked about earlier. They got the guys to make this run now in the NFC South. Second and five, great penetration and the tackle by Shelton Quarles. Third and five. The take, set. Chidi Ahanatu on Fox, 9.47 here in the fourth. Retay to throw to a guy who's been very quiet all day long, Eric Johnson. These guys have been all over the place today. And there's Brooks again. A couple of years ago, nine touchdowns they scored on defense. They're not as good in run defense. They're not as good in red zone defense. They've still got some time now left in this season to get those things shored up. They bring the pressure. 49ers pick it up, intercepted, Corey Cox, and he'll take this one to distance. No flags down, 55 yards, and you just... Hicks in the backfield along with Beasley. Green, Hicks, cuts it back inside, nice move. Every time this guy touches the ball, Tim, he makes positive yards. Well, in the back of your numbers is the first thing that hits the ground. That's not good. Maurice is, is going to get some carries. He's going to get some runs. I right. think he should have gone to him in, in, at least in the first quarter today because it was clear that Barlow wasn't doing a whole bunch of anything. Second down and eight. Pressure again. Back side. That looked like Rondé Barber, the corner. And he's got a sack. They're not. They're clearly the Cowboys out of this stuff. 
third and 12. Intended for Jackson, incomplete. When you try too hard, you press, you try to make plays, and you only end up making mistakes. As this football team was in. But let's be honest, I mean, it, it's no secret where the San Francisco 49ers are right now. Their fans out there aren't used to it, but it's something I think that's got to happen because of the salary cap. Nice pickup there by Woods. The check down. $20 million over five years contract can become a player because that's another hit on your cap. They don't have a lot of good football players. They got some good ones now. And Fred Beasley's one of those guys, and he's one of the leaders out there. And the leaders are disgruntled, especially the guys that have had the success in San Francisco. Okay. Running for his life again, and Rattay will take the sack. Shotgun for Rattay. Holding the ball, throws. It's complete to Terry Jackson with a nice move. And he's got a nice gain inside the third. Rattay intended for Wilson in the South Division. So with a win here, they've got a shot to keep on rolling. And six. There's an Aaron throw intended for Hicks. Hard for a lot of these teams to put up 17 plus points on. Four of their next five games are divisional opponents. It's a complete to Hicks. Hicks with a nice dance. And he's down to the two yard line. 2,000. And they beat Chicago 41 to nothing. Hicks. Hicks. And I don't think Hicks made it. And time has wound down here for the 49ers. Tampa Bay will get the win 35 to 3. And San Francisco did not have 200 yards of total offense, and the game ends just as it should with the defense coming up with a big time stop.